guys, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence here. Um, I have finally, <laughs> three months later, um, finished my farm mini album using the Doodle Bug Down on the Farm paper line. Um, I used the uh, cut file from Lori Whitlock to actually make the base of the book, and then I used a ton of the odds and ends and the papers and the well, everything to um, finish the book off. I had actually posted the base of the book, like just the shell of the book, back in April. Um, I had actually started working on this at a doodle bug event I went to um, back in April. And it's just been kind of sitting on my craft table since. I've, I've tried to start it a couple of times, but I had just kind of gotten stuck that I wasn't quite sure where to go now that I had the book itself done. I wasn't quite sure where to go with the pages, um, but over the last um, couple of days, I actually have gone through and gotten the whole thing finished. So let's take okay, a look. So here is the finished album. Um, I've got a lot of the little doodads and things on the front here. Um, like I said, I cut the base, like the chipboard pieces for the base with my Cricut using the um, Doodlebug cut files from Lori Whitlock. Um, this, uh, the barn is actually one cut file that I was able to separate into um, two pieces for the gatefold on the album, um, just by virtue of how the the cut file itself was designed, um, which was really cool. And, and actually, how I came up with this in the first place was I was going I years ago had not years ago a couple years ago I had laid out um, a farm card that was like a gatefold card but I was using the barn out of um, create a critter on design space and it just you know didn't have quite what I wanted out of it so I had kind of put it to the side but it was you know always in the back of my mind and then when doodlebug released this paper and the cut files and everything I went oh my gosh this is it. So um, let's start with the front here. What I did on the front, and this is completely insane, um, I actually did a mini on top of a mini. Um, so let's zoom in here just a touch and see. Uh, the front of this is gatefold as well. Um, I've got some of the odds and ends over here um, and then some of that's an odds and end this is some of the mini icon stickers um, odds and end again mini icon sticker just because they're so stinking cute so um, to decorate this section I actually use the six by six paper pad um, and between this and a couple of places I used inside I used the entire 24 <laughs> sheet um, paper pad um, which it's what Doodlebug does with those is actually really kind of cool. So in the 12 by 12, you have these little three by four cut apart cards that are also included on that six by six pad. So I still had the same, you know, little images that I could cut up and use in this little piece that I could also use in the big piece. So this one actually folds out like this. Um, same thing with the border sheet that's in the 12 by 12. It is also in the um, six by six. So I've used those borders in here as well, along with you know all of the smaller prints for the different pieces and parts. And then that's the back side. I've used the mini icon stickers again, another one of the cut aparts. Um, this one is gonna open up like that first, and then it's actually gonna flip down. Um, that, of course, is loose back behind there, so you can get a picture in there. Um, spot for journaling if you wanted to on some of these, you know, less printy prints, I guess. I don't know how else you put that. Um, okay. So, same thing here. Just another, you know, another flip out on this side. Another flip flip over here and then this I actually made yet another mini inside of a mini because apparently I'm a crazy person that way 
Um, so we've got little chickens. So when this is actually tucked into the pocket back here, you see the little chicken even when this front part is closed. So this opens up like this and has all these little spaces that you can, you know, put some pictures and things. Um, as I was making this book, and then even a little spot on the back, um, when I had first gotten the idea for this book, my son and I actually had gone to, um, here in Salt Lake, uh, the Cross E Ranch does baby animal fest. So I actually, as I was doing the, designing this, like before I got to the actual cutting and decorating, he and I had, had gone to that. And, you know, I kind of did this with the pictures from that in mind as I went through. Um, so here it is opened up in its entirety. This thing is huge size wise. Um, there's lots of room for pictures and, and things. Um, so let's actually start over here on the, um, the silo side, just because this is kind of small. While we were at the um, baby animal, animal fest, my son actually took off with my camera. He's five, or my phone. He's five to take pictures. And he took a whole bunch of pictures. We were in the barn with the the chicks and the bunnies and the ducks and whatnot. And he ran around and took all these pictures with it. And it was just adorable. Um, well, I sat and held a baby bunny because, you know, priorities. <laughs> but, uh, so this flips out. So these are sized to fit, um, like, Instax st uh, size pictures. Um, I also have a photo printer upstairs that will print them really small like that. Um, they print it, I think it's like business card size, but um, that's what this section of the album is intended for, are all of these little pictures that he took of the different animals. And, you know, he actually took a picture or two of me and he took a couple of himself and, you know, <laughs> um, it was just, it was really cute. So, you know, that's kind of what I got going on over here. Um, I will say this, when I was doing this album, um, I used American Crafts 80 pound cardstock to cover the album. Um, something I will not be doing again because I have had a really hard time with it being almost too stiff, even with, you know, trying to train the, the pages and trying to, you know, break in those, those, um, the creases and whatnot, I still have had a very hard time with that. Um, so let's go to the rest of the album here. So on this side, I've just got a little pocket. Inside, just another quick little um, photo spot. Here, and I actually added this, you know, tiny pocket on the bottom just because um, this was not quite tight enough to keep my, you know, my little photo mats in place here. So just using, you know, some more of the cut aparts. This one I actually just sandwiched the two together because that was just like a perfect journaling spot. Um, and these are, once again, these same cut aparts from the six by six pad as from the 12 by 12 papers. So you can kind of see, you know, that was just a really fun thing that Doodlebug does with their, um, with their paper. I love their paper. Um, okay, so a couple of photo spots. All of these um, are popped up and not attached all the way down so you can get pictures back in behind here. Um, on this side, oops, that doesn't want to come out that way today. Um, yet another little spot where I've just got a card or a, a, a little photo flip um, just tucked in behind here. It doesn't want to go back in, of course, because um, you know, same thing here. I've got this loose where I can, um, you know, put a photo in here. This is one of the Doodle Pops, which are the layered um, elements that Doodlebug releases to match all of their collections, and they are just some of the cutest things ever. Um, on this side, I've got two pockets, um, just some other little photo mats and things using, you know, some of the stickers and some of the, the um, odds and ends. Um, one entire sheet of the 12 by 12 is act actually all looks like these little handkerchiefs, so um, or bandanas. So I actually cut those apart and then matted all of them to use as 
um, little photo mats throughout the book. Um, you know, same thing on this side. Over here, and I think I saw this element in one of Francis's books, um, Francis Long from Your Book of Memories, and I just thought this was the, just the coolest idea. So um, you've got the little flap here, but on top of that flap, you've got this little pocket, and once again, this is where I've put some more of those little bandana photo mats, and that's a magnetic closure. Um, this is not hooked down all the way so you can get a picture underneath there. And this silly little cow, his ear keeps wanting to bend up on me. So on the back here, of course I've got the rest of my barn. Um, I've actually got a little flip in here as well. But I use some more of those um, odds and ends just to kind of create a little scene since the back of the book essentially looks like a scene. Um, same thing, I've got my, my photo mats here again that I'll tuck in behind here. Um, what I did with this, because once again, just, you know, love doodle bug. Uh, one entire sheet of paper looks like denim jeans pocket, so I actually fussy cut around that, popped that up, and then layered the um, animals behind that and like did it kind of in reverse with, with the foam dots. So instead of using the foam dots to bring it all up, I used it to give them some, some, some dimension and some space as they went back, um, which turned out better than I thought. And then this, I just, I took one, you know, one of the little bandanas from the six by six and just kind of crinkled it and glued it in there. So it looks like, you know, the bandana hanging out of the pocket. Um, but that's it. That is my shaped mini album with, you know, a spine as opposed to, you know, the ring binds I've usually done when I've done shaped albums. Um, I do plan on doing a tutorial to do this style of album. I am not going to do this exact album for the tutorial um, simply because the base pieces and whatnot I will create in Design Space to be cut with the Cricut um, and make sure it's images that can be shared because this is the Doodlebug SVG from Lori Whitlock. This cannot be shared. So when I do my tutorial on how to do a shaped mini with um, a bound spine as opposed to the three, three ring binders. Um, I will design it in a way that I can actually share the cut file um, for you to make your own. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching this and it's gotten kind of long on me now, but that's okay. Have a great day.